let's talk about chapter seven. So this lecture is apart from chapter seven and chapter eight because they are two similar concepts. So I just want to cover it in this lecture. And the next lecture is also regarding the remaining concepts of chapter seven and chapter eight. So from chapter seven, we will cover these two learning objectives. And from chapter eight, also we will cover some learning objectives by the end of this lecture. Okay, let's talk about number first, which is explain covered interest arbitrage. Interest arbitrage we already discussed and we talk about that the capital will flow from where there is higher interest rate, right? So capitalize mean when you want to profit from that country which offers you higher interest rate. So what does it mean by covered? It means you cover your position, which means you minimize your risk advance in advance before, you know, in advance to applying this strategy. So what is the definition here? Definition is that the process of capitalizing on the interest rate differential between two countries while covering your exchange rate risk with a forward contract. So we will also see a short video of covered interest arbitrage as well. It will further enhance your learning. So the tagline here is that due to covered interest arbitrage, market forces should realign the relationship between interest rate differential of two countries and the forward premium on the forward exchange rate between the two countries. So what does this statement means? It means if interest in A is higher than interest in B. So what happened? People will start investing in A. And what happened to the forward rate? The forward rate also increases. Right? And then when you convert back your currency here, then there was the, the rate going to be like higher. And since you are using forward contract, so forward exchange rate going to be also increased. So when you convert back here, you will be at this advantage, right? So it's better when you invest in this country immediately you purchase its forward so that in future when forward prices rises you already negotiated the contract and you are in a good condition now if the spot if if the spot rate increase or decrease not that's not your option and that is none of your concern because you already have done a you know the forward earlier then this actually happens so you are covered with interest rate so you can just earn the relatively high interest rate so i have a very nice video here to show you what does it mean by uncovered and what does it mean by covered uncovered mean when you just invest in a higher interest providing country and that's it but what is the drawback here because when you convert back your home, your, your, the, the foreign currency into home currency, because of the home currency is depreciated against the foreign currency, then you will be having some kind of disadvantage due to this uh, exchange rate differential. So it's better to cover your position through forward. So let's talk about this video and commenting on this video later. Covered interest arbitrage is a trading strategy that investors use to try to profit from the differences in two countries' interest rates. For example, the interest rate in the Eurozone might be 15% per year, while the interest rate in the United States is 5% per year. 
Unfortunately, unfavorable exchange rates could eliminate investor profits. To avoid this scenario, covered interest arbitrageurs use a forward currency contract so that they know what exchange rate they will receive when they convert their investment back into their original currency. Investors need to know two things, the exchange rate when they initiate the trade. For example, 1 euro equals $1.39, the spot rate. And they also need to know that they can later convert euros back to dollars at a rate of 1 euro equals $1.35, the forward rate. For the trade to be profitable, this hedge must cost less than what the investor will earn from investing in the currency with the higher interest rate. Angela has $1 million to invest. If she invests at home, she will earn 5%, bringing her total to $1,050,000. But what if she uses covered interest arbitrage instead? First, 